In this video, we're going to ask what principal amount of money is going to amount to $3,000 if we invest it at 6.5% compounded weekly for four years. When we're working with compound interest and we know the number of compounds in a year, we should be thinking of the equation, the final amount is equal to the principal times 1 plus the rate divided by the number of compounds to the number of compounds times time. And so if we can identify what each of these are in the problem, we can plug in and solve for the remaining variable. This $3,000 is what we want to amount to at the end of the interest. So that's our final amount, which is A. 6.5%, that's our interest rate. Make sure we write that rate, though, as a decimal. Moving the decimal twice, 0 0.065. If we just use 6.5, that's 650 percent. That's unacceptable. 0.65, putting the decimal in front is wrong as well. That's 65 percent. Move the decimal twice to get 0.65. And finally, we have four years. That's our time of four years. We also need to know how many times it's compounded in a year. This problem says it's compounded weekly. Weekly, the number of compounds in a year, we'll assume there are 52 weeks in a year. So let's plug in what we have. A, we said, was 3,000 equals P, we never found, times 1 plus R, which is 0 0.065 over N, which we found out was 52, to the NT, 52 times T, which is 4, and then we'll solve what's left for the remaining variable of p, or what principal we need to invest. I always say to take a moment to evaluate the parentheses and the exponent in separate steps on my calculator so I don't get in trouble. So 3,000 equals p times 1 plus 0 0.065 divided by 52 is 1.00125. Again, sometimes the decimals are going to get weird. Make sure you keep every decimal your calculator gives you for accuracy. 52 times 4 in the exponent is 208. So now we should be able to calculate on our calculator the 1.00125 to the 208 power, giving us 3,000 equals p times 1.00125 to the 208 power. And again, here's where we start to see the long decimal. Use it all, 1.296719528. And so to get p alone, we'll divide by 1.296719528 on both sides. Because that's going to tell us what p equals. 3,000 divided by that 1.296719528 is going to be $2,313. Because we're at the end, uh, we're around now at the end on the very last step, 0.53. If you invest $2,313 at 6.5% compounded weekly for four years, you will have $3,000 at the end of those four years. Again, the way we got that is we identified the formula we needed to use because we know the number of compounds in a year our interest will compound. Plug in what we know and make sure we're aware of how to use our calculator to do the parentheses and the exponents separately, keeping every decimal the calculator gives us until the very end when we get our final solution.